The next biasing scheme is by fixing the gate voltage and connecting a resistance in the source. This biasing scheme is an excellent biasing technique for discrete MOSFET circuits consisting of fixed DC voltage at the gate and connecting a resistance in the source LED. The circuit diagram for this biasing scheme is as shown here. The RG1 and RG2 as usual they act like a voltage divider bias to fix the gate voltage. And here the additional thing what we see here is the negative feedback or degeneration resistance connected at the source LED. To analyze this circuit let us apply KVL to the gate source loop. The KVL equation is minus VG plus VGS plus ID times RS equals to 0. Rearranging this equation gives VG equals VGS plus ID times RS. Deriving ID from this equation, ID equals minus 1 over RS times VGS plus VG by RS. This equation is a straight line equation. We can compare this equation with the equation y is equal to mx plus c. Here id is equal to y. The slope m equals minus 1 over rs. x is equal to vgs. The y intercept c equals vg by rs. The same has been illustrated here. Next let us see more details of this biasing scheme due to the source degeneration resistance. The resistance RS connected at the source LED provides the negative feedback. Before we go into the details of this, let us define what is bias. The bias is the state of the system when there is no signal applied. The bias point should be stable that is stable for variations in process transconductance parameter, aspect ratio W by L, threshold voltage, temperature, manufacturing variability, etc. Now coming back to the source degeneration importance, the RS here provides a negative feedback. This can be better understood by applying a Kirchhoff voltage law to the gate source loop. Applying KVL gives minus VG plus VGS plus ID times RS, the drop across RS. Rearranging this equation, we obtain VGS equals VG minus ID times RS. Let us call this as equation 1. Also, we know that the saturation current flowing through this MOSFET ID is given by ID equals 1 by 2 mu n COX times W by L into VGS minus VT whole square. Let us call this as equation 2. The negative feedback can be better understood by equation 1 and 2. If the drain current increases due to the variation in mu n COX aspect ratio or VTN, Specifically, if mu and COX aspect ratio increases or threshold voltage decreases, the drain current increases. From equation 1, when the drain current increases, ID RS, the drop across RS, increases. When the drop across RS increases, the gate voltage that is obtained from the voltage divider bias is constant. Therefore, the gate source voltage VGS decreases. The gate source voltage VGS decreases since VG is a constant. Now from equation 2, if VGS decreases, the drain current should decrease. Therefore, the increase in ID due to the variation in mu and COX, W by L and threshold voltage, the circuit the resistance connected at source provides negative feedback and due to that the increase in drain current 
the circuit compensates and produces decrease of the drain current. Let us see alternate variations. If at all drain current decreases because of process transconductance parameter and W well decreasing or threshold voltage increases from equation 1 the drop across RS decreases. Once the drop across RS decreases since gate voltage is fixed the gate to source voltage has to increase. From equation 2 if gate to source voltage increases the corresponding ID increases. Therefore the negative feedback provides compensate the decrease in the drain current causing the feedback to increase the drain current. This effect is called as negative feedback. The negative feedback provides stability. Now the negative feedback will be most effective if the drop across RS is larger than the gate source voltage. This can be seen from equation which we already derived from the KVL which is VGS minus VG plus ID times RS which is equal to 0. ID is approximately equal to VG by RS. So it is evident that if the product of ID into RS is larger than the gate voltage or gate source voltage, the feedback becomes most effective. Now let us see the examples of bias with source degeneration and its implementation. The basic arrangement of the source degeneration feedback is as shown here with gate voltage, gate source voltage and RS has been shown here. The gate source voltage as we already derived equals VG minus ID times RS. This circuit can be implemented using one power, sub power supply VDD. The VDD divides across RG1 and RG2 and provides constant voltage to the gate. The RS here provides negative feedback and compensates for the variation in the drain current due to process transconductance parameter, aspect ratio, temperature, etc. The alternative implementation using two power supply is as shown in this circuit. The two power supplies are VDD and minus VSS. The gate to source voltage equation for the circuit is VGS equals VSS minus ID times RS. Now let us go through the more details of this biasing scheme by considering the device characteristics. The VGS versus ID characteristics for two different devices are shown here. Now the ID equation, the straight line equation derived earlier can be plotted on this, can be superimposed on this graph, on this characteristics to see the variation in drain current. The ID equation is ID equals minus 1 over RS times VGS plus VG by RS. To draw the line for this equation, substituting VGS equals to 0, we get ID as VG by RS. So ID is VG by RS for VGS equals to 0. Similarly, for ID equals to 0, VGS equals VG. For ID equals 0, VGS equals VG. Once we know these two extreme ends, the straight line can be drawn. Now the device, if the MOSFET is replaced with, the amplifier circuit is replaced with two different devices, let us say device 1 and device 2, due to the process variations, the devices exhibits different characteristics. And now the drain current obtained 
corresponding to this intersection id2 and id1 the difference between these two currents are small so therefore we can say that delta id is small because this happens due to the rs increases the bias stability in the previous biasing circuit by fixing vgs alone we saw that delta id by id is larger but by biasing fixing vg and connecting a resistance in the source increases bias stability therefore delta id by id is smaller the difference smaller the difference the circuit is more stable this characteristic shows that for two device that has different process variations parameter variations the change in drain current for the corresponding two devices is small due to the rs connected in the source led